Okay. Um, as I was talking to you for a little bit, I can't, who's a sister feeling or sister-in-law? Like I'm feeling a female, more like a sisterly feeling right now. As, as a what? Um, as a somebody that you were either close with at one time or you're still close with, but like some kind of a connection between you and a sister or a sister, um, sister-in-law, sister, somebody that was like a sister to you. Who's the letter M? Letter M. It's somebody that that's that's in your life, like somebody with the letter M that has influenced you or continues to influence you. But there is a letter M in your life that I just saw. Like it's a, it's a big capital M, so I'm not even going to go around it or bypass it. It's a it's an M. So that's what I'm trying to think right now. There was, let's see, uh, not that I, I have many female uh, friends in my life right now. Um, I'm not saying it's a female, I'm not saying it's a male. It's either or, but it's a letter M. Like, it's capital. Oh, really? In bold, yes. Somebody with an M. While you think about that, what's the deal with the baby? I'm seeing a baby. Does somebody just have a baby or have a some something that has to do with the baby? Either having a baby or a miscarriage, but there's a baby that's involved in it. I don't know. This is sometimes things will appear as it happened or it's or it's going to happen or it's happening at the time but there is a baby in the picture so keep that in mind okay and i think you know who i'm talking about you just or what i'm talking about but you just like hmm <laughs> but there is am i right <laughs> there is some kind of a baby either a baby talk or baby coming along or had a baby there's something of a baby so keep that in mind and then let me know along with the letter M okay 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 <clears throat> have you been having dreams um, okay this is what I'm seeing I'm seeing roads I'm seeing traveling does that make sense have you been thinking about traveling? Because there's, there are three roads, two that are main ones that you're thinking about that you have in mind. There's two roads, two main roads, two trips. Does that make sense? I mean, I, I, I haven't had dreams. Uh, some, some of my dreams, they're crazy. Like, uh, you know, like, uh, I, I was thinking about traveling yes I mean, like that then I would like to do again I, you know but um, I can't make any moves yet right there are that that's what I'm seeing and there's two major trips you're thinking about traveling um, dreams meaning that's um, I'm basically reading your thoughts right now and one of them is traveling and basically not it, it doesn't have to be like you're physically dreaming about it it's like daydreaming does it make sense so you have been thinking about it you want to do it but at the moment you're not able to but let me tell you something i see money you're waiting on some kind of income something that's coming your way and it's going to happen soon i'm seeing between the numbers four and six 
so but maybe between four to six weeks or four to six months but I am seeing between four and six you are going to receive that money does it make sense yes uh, yes uh, there is I, I believe there is uh, and it is <clears throat> yes uh, that's true yes definitely okay so I just confirmed it for you you are gonna get it because whatever I see like if it doesn't work out it'll it'll give me um, some kind of a signal like nope no like it'll be like a baby basically like a, a dead end but from what I could see, you're getting it. So you are, and what is this business you're talking, you're thinking about? Have you talked to somebody about a business? I'm seeing business, like a lot of cash coming in. Something that you have been thinking about for a long time. What is this business that you, you're thinking about? I, I always, I was in business at one time with, with a friend of mine, and I was thinking about something like starting doing something again. And I, I, I have these thoughts like maybe do something, uh, do some kind of a business or something uh, where I can make some extra money, you know. And um, Give it about eight months. Really? Really. Give it about eight months, but I would pursue it. There's always, because it's, it's still not too late for me to, to maybe, you know, stop something or get involved in something. You no. Know, that's something I, Go for it. Maybe, I, I would, I'm thinking about it, yes. Perfect. I would go for it. I see doors opening like four, four major doors are opening. One of the doors actually has a surprise for you, something that's going to shock you, basically take your breath away and it's going to be like, no way, no way. You know what I'm saying? Four doors that are opening. And I think you know some of them. Something that you've been thinking about putting in works or actually have put in works, but there's four doors that are opening. So, again, go for it. Yeah. If I wasn't sure, I wouldn't tell you. <laughs> but I could see it clearly. There's four doors that are opening. Yes. I believe, you know, I know there are things that are going to happen for, for me. Um, I know, I know something, things are going to happen. And I'm, you know, like, because I'm still hopeful. So I, I still, I still believe that. And that is exactly the reason why they're going to happen and work for you. Because you still have the faith and you have to believe. So it is going to work. As long as you keep it up, and stay positive, they are going to work. So keep That's that in mind. You already know. You know everything I'm telling you right now. I could feel it. You've already thought this to yourself, but keep it up. You have to. Absolutely. You have to, you have to be positive about this. You know. I'm seeing a number 12. What does a 12 mean to you? Again, 12. Like number 12? Really? The number 12. Big bold letters. I mean, sorry, <laughs> numbers. <laughs> Big bold numbers. The number 12. It could be an age when something happened when you were 12. It could mean 12 years ago. Something that has to do with 12 or somebody's age. But it is the number 12. Hang on. What happened with you between you and your mother? Well, uh, my mom, well, she 
catch the wave. I know. That's why she. I'm getting this this thing that something happened between you and her that were major before she passed away. She passed away at my house over here, and uh, you know, after she came back from the rehab nursing home rehab center, she yeah, she she wasn't I mean, the same. You guys she, thought she was crazy. She was well before she passed away. She was hallucinating a lot. That's the she crazy was, part. Yeah, she was accusing me of things like she was. She was. She was saying to me, uh, like about uh, there was money in the safe deposit box that she told me. She said, if you ever need it, you know, you could use it. You know. It's there for you, so I used it, but I used it for her, you know, to help pay the bills and everything, and right. things and different things. And I was using it for, you know, I had to use it for for the house here and for her, you know.、Mm -hmm. And I put some of it back, but then she, like, she saw that, like, some of that money was missing, so she was saying, "Oh, what did you do with the money?" And I said, "Yeah, but you said I could use it." When I needed it, I needed it. I needed it for you, you know. Like and then she was accusing me of stealing her wedding ring, which I never did. Monica,、yeah. I never. I would never. And I said, "Here's your wedding ring. It's right here. This is your wedding ring, isn't it?" She goes, "Oh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah." Uh, she goes, and I'm like, and, and I'm saying, like, this is this has to be your wedding ring. I says, "Why would?" She says, "Oh." Oh, I'm sorry. Then she started saying, "Like I'm sorry." You know, I think she was. It was something. She was like she was hallucinating. You know, she saw people walking around this house all the time. Wow. Which was which was freaky. She says, "I was sitting on the couch from across across from her." She says, "Who is who is that that woman with that little girl sitting there next to you?" And I said, "What woman? What a girl is it?" You know. Wow, that's the that's where the crazy part comes in because you guys thought she was crazy. That's what is her first name? Helen. Helen. Okay, that's some. What's going on with the poster or something like a window or post? She's she's showing me like a big square. I'm leaning more towards a window. First, it looked like a square because it was big and you know <laughs> the shape of a square. What is what is the deal with the window with her? The window. Where she was at? Did she have a window? Oh, the place where she was、uh, where she was staying. Well, she was in the hospital too. So she didn't have a window. Or did she? Cause she she showed me window, and that's important because she was like an, an more like a nature person. She didn't like she did not like to be locked up somewhere, and she was not liking it. And she showed me a window, and to me it's like the, the way that I see her is is looking out the window, like looking into.、Um, Nature and you know, like wanting to be outdoors. She hated being trapped, and especially having the feeling of being trapped. Does it、yes. make sense? When she was, when she was in a house, she used to tell me, like, even before, like before she got sick, she says, "Oh, I like to go out. Let's go out somewhere." Like, and sometimes we used to take a drive in a car. We used to sometimes her friend would come along and. We take a drive somewhere, like just drive around, like to Long Island or somewhere or to the beach, right? Go somewhere. We used to, yeah, right. She used to say that, like, she to, like she never really liked to be cooped up in the house. She used to tell me, like, oh, I like to get out more, but then, like, she wasn't, like, as she got older, <laughs> then she get, then she, she wasn't, she、uh, got out less and less because her physical condition wouldn't allow it, you know, like. Right. So, but she was an outdoors person. Like she just, she just wanted to be outdoors. She wanted to explore. 
Um, and then <laughs> she made sure her kitchen was properly done. Something with the silverware, like she had this weird thing with the silverware that she's showing me right now. It, it's crazy, but um, something about like everything in the kitchen had to be perfect, including her silverware. Her silverware was always shiny. Doesn't make sense. I mean, everybody's is, but hers was like she had to make sure everything was nice, nice and neat and shiny and ready she to represent. She was definitely, you know, she was like that. Yeah, she was neat. She, she everything has to be in an exact place where it, where it's supposed to be, or if something is out of order, it drives her crazy. She has to go fix it. Yes. Sometimes I would move things around, and she would. She would notice it. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Yeah, she would notice it. Um, you did not touch her belongings. You did not touch... Nobody was allowed to touch her belongings. She was like very... Um, when it came to her stuff, it was like very personal. And nobody touches her stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She was like that. Yeah, she... Yeah, she yeah, she, she, you know, she kept an eye on her stuff and valued it and, you know, she, uh, yeah, the times, like, I remember, yeah, she would, she, she, you know, she was, yeah, she was a mean person, you know, she, she kept a good house. Right. Um, and she loved flowers, like fragrances, and yeah, um, sweet old lady, but she was tough at times, like when she put her foot down, you knew she was mad. Yes, yeah, she was like that. You know, she had, she had a, people would think she had a dark side when she'd get mad, but it wasn't a dark side, it was just like, that's just part of her personality. And it still is, <laughs> you know, so she, uh, if you really pissed her off, then she would be like, you know, like, uh, she'll let you know. But a lot of times she tried to stay positive and she was a positive woman. She might have looked mean at times or upset at times or very strict, but that was just, you know, for her reasons. But then for most of the part, she was actually really nice. Yeah, she was. Yeah, she, she had a good sense of humor. Right. Uh, you know, right. when she was in the hospital, she, she, she used to joke around with the nurses over there and the doctors and everybody. Yeah, she was, she was somebody that um, would make friends with that, anybody <laughs> that came, you I know, miss, across her. I, yeah, I miss, you know, I miss her sometimes, you know, like a lot of times, uh, you know, yeah, she, I really don't, you know. Well, she visits you. She says she hasn't been able to visit you as often as she would like, but she's going to make an effort to visit you a lot more than she did. And this time she said, now I know that he doesn't feel me. Sometimes you suspect it, but you're not too sure. She says she's going to make sure the next time she visits you from now on, that she's gonna make sure you know that she's there. Either she's gonna come in your dreams, she's gonna make you feel her, she's gonna do anything and everything to make sure that you know that she's she, she's there visiting you and saying hi. I gotta I gotta get to the cemetery to um, a little walk off and you know bring some flowers there, you know and and not that she I don't think she really can see me there anyway, but no, she does. She does, but what happens with spirits is it's not just taking flowers. You don't have to take flowers because they normally, I mean, yes, they can cross things over from our realm to their realm, but a lot of times spirits at the cemeteries, they don't take those flowers into their realm. So what happens is those flowers end up dying. And I learned this the hard way. When I used to go visit family members growing up, I would always take flowers. And then they used to die and, you know, and all this stuff. So 
then I learned to find, you know, I, I actually, when I started communicating with spirits a lot more and visiting cemeteries, I found out.